and welcome to episode 2 of the Elbehut 3 podcast. I am Sarah and I am your host today. Coming to you from Hamburg, Germany. We are doing Elbehut 3 as three ladies and the other two are Christina and Katharina. They will have an appearance in this episode. I dragged them on the podcast, you'll see that later. In today's episode, I will talk about knitting and some upcoming stuff, whips and what I'm going to knit next. And I also brought the yarn that I dyed up in the first episode. First of all, I want to show you what I am wearing. I knit this, um, yeah, in this year. I don't remember when, in the beginning of the year, I think. It's a Paca Silkwool fingering weight and yeah I'm going to stand up for you you can see a little more it's slightly cropped and has cropped sleeves I love the sweater and I love this yoke I made this pattern up myself I never knit it from pattern from somebody else I always make up my own stuff but a little more on that later. Yeah, I don't like knitwear sitting up next to my neck, except for scarves or shawls, that's okay. But I'm a little sensitive around the neck with wool and all things fiber. So I like it more when, when it's this yoke, it's not sitting at my neck, at my neck. Yeah. I'm not going to show you all I have ever knit right now. It's not that much. I only knit for about three years, I think. Or two? No, I think it's three. Is it three? I will put on a different sweater on every episode. Yeah, I copied that from Caroline from Knitting Vicariously podcast. She did that, but my sweaters won't last as long as hers because I don't have that many. Yeah, I also made some show notes, so that is why I might looking down sometimes, just checking my notes and remember myself what I wanted to tell you. I'm going to show you my two most recently finished objects. One is a sweater and one is a pair of socks. Yeah, let me get them. So this is the sweater I made, I finished last. If you are following us on Instagram, you might have seen this already. It's a little thicker wool, that's why I didn't put that on today, because it's too warm today. I'm already sweating away in this one, and this is one is not that thick. So I made this up myself also. As I told you, I never knitted another pattern from somebody else before. And I made a little lacy yoke. And then, yeah, just a little color work on the body. And I just continued the lacy part on the sleeves. And then some color work at the end of the sleeves. Yeah, this one sits quite high up at my neck. I don't like that too much, but I miscalculated in the beginning and uh, cast it on two less stitches. So that's why this is sitting right at my neck. See how that goes. So that's my sweater. I think it's 100% um, uh, alpaca wool, so it will be very warm and very cozy. It will keep me warm in the winter. So the other finished object is a pair of socks. I've got two. I didn't put these on sock blockers, but I think you can see them quite well. When you wear them, you can see the pattern like this way, and that is like little flowers. And I call these kind of socks my ballerina socks because I made this cable work 
so that it feels like a ballerina shoe. I am taking part in the Boxer Socks knit along from Woolenwein. So Kristen is hosting this and this is my September pair of socks. I'm going to show you all of my socks I made this year, right beginning with January. So these are my January socks. I like mismatching socks, but I made cuff and the toes and the, what's it called? <laughs> Missing word. What is this? Heel? Not that high word. And the heel uh, differently in both socks. You can see here. Yeah. And just the stripe piece tucks. And I used a circular knitting method so that you can see the change of color anywhere. Here we go knitting. February socks. These are my February socks and February is as Valentine's Day. So I thought I made a little, make a little heart shape here. And these are mismatched too because I love them. Yeah, all, and all of these socks I knit with the fish lips heel, fish lips kiss heel. I learned that in January and I think it's really easy and fits me really well. And in March, I decided to go with the ballerina style socks with this shape. And this is my ballerina, my third ballerina sock in March. So these are not mismatched. Where were we? April. April socks. Another ballerina pair with a different pattern. I wrote all these up myself. Again, fish lips, kiss, heel. And then in May, I decided to do rainbow socks. Got all the rainbow colors and also used these two colors in the rainbow. So these are some rainbow ballerina socks with mismatching heels. Otherwise, they are matching perfectly. June socks, I was going with light pink, also the ballerina style sock. July socks, went with this yellow. And then some leafy shaped pattern. And I, I I prefer shorter socks and longer socks, so most of my socks are with a shorter leg, with a shorter leg. <laughs> August socks, these are purple, with a pattern and also in the ballerina style. And the September socks were the red ones, you already saw those. So next up is October and those are going to be orange and I can't decide if I want to go foxy, so with fox motif or some kind of pumpkin motif, I haven't decided yet. Yeah, and I'm tending to use foxy pattern, not sure yet, we'll see, we'll see. But last time and I recorded, I recorded a little dye session and I specifically wanted to dye up some yarn for my pie shawl. I'm going to show you that shawl now. It's living in my, in this little bag my mom made for me. It's a little wonky, but I, I'm totally in love with it. 
It's also beautiful inside. She hated me for making her do this. She, she used to be a sewer, but she had some problems with this. But I think it turned out great. I like it. So this is my pie shawl. It looks like a huge blob. So it's, it's quite huge, I know. But I wanted it to be even bigger. Um, so I, I ran out of yarn. This is all made of my hand dyed yarn different colors but yeah I ran out of yarn so I had to dye up some more that was the dye session last time I'm going to show you the skeins I dyed up these are the skeins I dyed up last time I don't know if you can see this but these turned out to be quite purpley I wanted to wanted them to be more magnolia color like this color like this color here and they are more purple so I don't think they fit that well can you see this? So. <laughs> yeah not that good a match so I think I'm going to do that again not today but sometime in the future I'm trying again and kind of regretting putting in that blue because that's when it turned purple yeah I could have guessed that I think these will go in the ghost horse sweater pattern from Caitlin Hunter next up is the whips and currently I don't have that many. I used to be a monogamous, monogamous knitter. Uh, yeah, that didn't last very long. And then I used to cast on a little more. But I like keeping my whips in a small, small number. So at the moment I've got two. One is living in this pretty bag. I just bought this from from a store. Um, it was sold as a cosmetics bag, makeup bag, but I use it for small projects. And currently, there's living a shawl in here. This is how far I'm. I am not very far it's lace yarn so this takes a while and these this is on my what are these chaya goose i love chaya goose these are my favorite knitting needles i knit my socks all on higher higher sharps i love that for sharp for i love that for socks but the chaya goose i love it i love them for any sweater knitting, shawl knitting, any other knitting than socks. And it socks on DPN. And this is the beautiful zauber ball or zauber ball as you might call it. It's from Schottelwolle and I love these. I love the colors in here and I'm eager to get to this plum color. So this is my shawl. Again, no pattern used. I just made this up while I was sitting at the beach. I wanted something easy to knit. And I just cast this on and went as I go. The other whip I've got is a blanket. This is my blanket. I used some cable patterns in here at the beginning, some cable knitting, some bubbles, I love these. Again a cable, 
and then the bubbles again and the cables from the beginning. Yeah, I don't think I will become a blanket knitter. This is the first big blanket I'm knitting. Um, I had been knitting a baby's blanket, that went fast, but this one takes a whole lot of time. And it's repeating itself, so I'm getting bored quite easily with this one. Oh yeah, so I've been knitting on this a while now. These are on 8mm needles, so it is going pretty fast. Yeah, but I'm not... I think I've got the half of it, not even half of it. One third, I think two, two thirds more to go. This will take a while. Yeah, and those are all my whips. I don't have any other whips right now, but I'm planning to cast on something today. Haven't done that yet, but it will be the first pattern I knit from another designer. It will be the black thorn sweater from Lisa Turner. If I figure out how that that's working out, I insert a photo over here or over here. It's color work. I'm not too experienced with color work, but I want to try and I love I love that motif. It's a it's a sweater with a lot of positive ease. I think 30 centimeters of positive ease. I'm going to make some adjustments to the sweater pattern because I don't like sweaters that are that have too much positive ease. Yeah. I will adjust that. Maybe to four or five centimeters of positive ease or even less. And I'm also going to separate the sleeves earlier than, than the pattern calls for. So I, I like sleeves like this and not down here. Don't think that's common. So that is what I'm going to knit next. And I will cast that on today and see how that goes. And yeah, as I told before, I'm planning on doing the ghost horse sweater from Caitlin Hunter, which also is a colorwork sweater. Yeah, but I'm going to see how the blackthorn sweater works out and how I'm going to read the pattern because that's that's the part where I, where that I struggle with. I'm Normally, when, I, when I'm when i doing a sweater and I'm knitting the sweater up, I write down everything I want to do in f before that, before I start knitting. I'm writing that down. I'm using, I'm using a digital program on my iPad for that and I write everything down, then I start knitting. But with a pattern that is written up by someone else, I struggle with that. I'm a chart knitter. I love knitting my socks from a chart. I'm also doing those before I start knitting the socks. I'm doing all the charts and then I start knitting. And with a colorwork sweater, I think I can manage that because there's a chart in the pattern. Not only a written pattern, but a chart I can hold on to. Yeah, I'll keep you updated how I'm managing to knit that up. So, upcoming stuff. I've been meeting up with the girls, Christina and Katharina, and we took some footage. I'm going to insert that now. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. I dragged those two onto the video, onto the podcast. And here we have Katharina, you saw her on the photo before. Hi. <laughs> and with uh, Christina, who's decoration today. So she's going to um, going to crochet along, and maybe we get to talk a little bit later. We try, we try. <laughs> okay, the decoration crochets, and <coughs> Katarina brought us something, some yarn goodies, and um, what is this? 
This is my first um, acetyl yarn ever <laughs> and the first try with an actual purpose. I'm going to tell you that later. Um, but this has been white uh, until last Sunday, so it's uh, <laughs> quite, yeah, I'm so happy that it's not white anymore and <laughs> it worked out as I imagined. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think so too, because, yeah, and it's, <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you about this, because it's uh, some pinkish and some greenish yarn, it's not what really kind of yarn is it? It's wool, actually, I don't know which sheep from, but um, it's from Grotzewolle, it's a German firm, I think. Yeah. Christina yeah. introduced it to me, actually. <laughs> she she sent me uh, the link um, of the sale for one kilogram of this nice wool and nicked me some of it <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> this is tiny bit. Yeah, a little bit. But I had enough for the nice project. How many did you get to keep? Eight. So it will. <laughs> But it's uh, enough for the project I have in mind. And what project is yeah. that? This is um, for the project starting in October. And it's the mystery little long from Westnitz. And actually it's my first little long. I always wanted to do this. Um, since I discovered that such thing exists, I don't know, a couple of months ago. <coughs> but the time was never really really good, uh, the project wasn't mine and I think some mystery is quite the thing I like because exciting. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I think last week or two weeks ago, I don't know, after, uh, he announced how much wool you will need from which color and so on and I had a look into my stash and nothing. Nothing worked. You never had enough wool. In yeah, stash. I have so much wool in my stash, but nothing worked. <laughs> so I uh, made up my mind and had to, decided to dye uh, it for myself with the colors that I like. Great. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to the 4th of October to finally get started yeah, with the project and have the first clue. Maybe she'll go into tell. Uh, maybe she's telling us about it later then in October. Yeah. Cool. When it was all good. <laughs> Only then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Christina is thinking about a cow also. Yeah. Maybe she wants to tell us about it. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm um, working, still working on it, uh, on my mood scarf. I prepared it a bit because um, in August I wrote down every day what kind of mood I was in and so now I'm working it so I can show you how it would look if you finish it. Show it. It did not do any and not yet. Mm -hmm. I will do that and hate it but so far. <laughs> so I, I made this pattern and decided that I needed something where you have just a piece so that 30 days or 31 days would be enough to actually get a scarf done and then I chose some colors which suits me for the different moods and now I'm crocheting what will be the month of August for me so I can wear it when winter comes and it will be a cow starting on the 1st of October. So, so you can get the pattern on our website from 1st of October. And I will link down below. However that works out, I have no clue. <laughs> we will work that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah we will. And if you want to, you can join me. Because yeah. they still don't I, I have enough to do with my cow. <laughs> and I'm definitely no crocheter. <laughs> So you'll be left alone. I'm so yeah. sorry. No, no, it doesn't matter. I will do another one maybe. Or okay. Depending.
Anjing So that was us meeting up and that's pretty much all I've got for you today I'm going to talk a little about what's going on in my life if you're not interested in that and just wanted to uh, are just here for the knitting that's fine thank you for watching please like and subscribe to our channel because there's coming more and for those sticking around, thank you. I am married and I sent my husband out of the room to record this podcast today. I really don't like listening to other people with me talking to my, uh, to my tablet. I like doing that on my own. I can speak more freely then because, yeah, that's just, a, just that's it. I, I just feel weird with other people being around when I'm talking. The recording with the girls was okay. Katarina's husband was also listening, but that was somehow that was okay. Maybe because I wasn't alone. But yeah, usually I prefer podcasting alone. I say usually I only didn't I have only done this uh, two times now. But yeah. That's how it's going to, to be. Me alone, sitting in, in our living room, talking to my iPad. Um, yeah, as I told you, we've been meeting up, Christina, Katarina and I. We had a lovely Friday. We were playing a little Switch, Mario Kart, driving a little around, virtually. Had some food. And just talked a little bit not so much knitting done that evening but it was lovely in my day life I have a full-time job I work as a salesperson at a store yeah, five days a week so not much free time left and that is all that's been happening lately I think I'll just end this thank you for watching Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing to this channel. It's been fun and I hope I get this edited today. And see you next time. Bye!